Hey and welcome to Alpha One. In this video we're going to talk about something a little different because I got a question very often now. Why do I use IQ options? Why you don't use this uh, broker here? Why you don't use this broker here? Don't use IQ option for Forex. Okay, I'll tell you why do I use IQ options. First of all, if you wanted to trade Forex, and let's say you have very little money to do so, and just check at YouTube, there are so many starting with as little as $10 and then manage to build it big. There are no excuses. You can start with $10. And especially if you're using IQ options, you can start with $10. Because if you want to deposit with IQ options, you have so many choices to add money to your account. You can use cryptocurrency, you can use Skrill. The only thing they don't have is PayPal actually. And that's, it's not that many that have PayPal these days. But you have uh, Neteller and you have Skrill, so it's two good options also. Uh, Myself, I have used uh, the Visa cards. Only thing that I don't like with the, if you add money with the Visa card, they have this rule, and I think actually all brokers have this rule that if you, for example, add uh, or Mastercard for that sake, if you add, for example, hundred dollars to your account, then you need to withdraw back this hundred dollars to that card. Your profit, let's say you make uh, $150, so you have a $250 account. $100 need first to go back to your Visa or MasterCard. Then after you can withdraw to whatever you want. And also you need to prove your card. So you need to make a picture of your front and the back of your card. Of course you cover some numbers. So your card is not, uh, so they can't use your card. But that's it. Uh, so yes, uh, in that way it's good. And you can, uh, I use, for example, when I have added money to now, I have put money direct from a uh, bank account. And it's actually much faster than you think. When I have it, normally come in with one or two days after the money is in the account in IQ options, so it's super fast, super, super fast. At least from Brazil, it's super fast. And also to withdraw money, it's incredible fast. I did now recently, I had uh, 5,000, I did now withdraw to, so I had 4,000. And uh, to withdraw this thousand dollars was done in, uh, less than one day, I think it was like uh, 13 hours from the time I did push withdraw till the money did show up in my new bank. So it's incredible fast. That's, that's one of the reasons I love IQ options. Another thing is, you can see here now, I did not recently put up these marks here. If you have been trading with uh, MetaTrader, you know to put up trend lines is a shit because you can put up the trend lines let's say put like uh, wrong like this in MetaTrader suddenly end up like this you put up like this and when you let the mouse go go like this because MetaTrader uh, trend lines you can't put up trend lines uh, you don't decide where the trend lines is going you can put them like this and they end up like this it's super annoying, you can't do it. So then many will say, ah, but you can use uh, TradingView. Of course, yeah, you can use TradingView to put up marks and put alerts. But then you can only put one alert for free. If you want to put more alerts, you need to pay for it. And it's quite annoying also because uh, to go through peers, and let's say you are following nine peers, right? If you do in the computer at least, you need to write everything down every time to go in between every pair because you can't keep multiple uh, op 
open because then you also need to pay for it. So then you need to go in between. It's taking much time and effort and then you will not manage to follow all the pairs properly. Like for example if you're doing like maybe you do breakout. And also it's boring that you need to use a third party place to follow your pairs. Here you can do it basically right away. And also if you're using indicators, you have so many indicators and all of them are very easy to apply to the chart and easy to um, follow. Like if you're for example using uh, uh, bullet chart, you just push here, apply it. And here you have it. It's that easy. So it's so fast and easy to use uh, everything like your chart, everything. Only thing that is a little slow, if we're going to say something, if you use a support. Normally it takes two days for, for them to reply for anything. That's, that's the only negative thing I have, but I have not had any problems with IQ option whatsoever. I don't use the binary part, I actually use uh, IQ options only for uh, Forex. So, and for me it's working perfectly. And so many are talking about the spread are big. I have told in other videos also, the spread are not big in IQ options. Just see here now. I will zoom in as much as I can. And you can see it right here now. Um, the, the colors indicate where you're getting your buy and sell. You can see yourself. It's basically no spread. And you see the spread here is two. It's nothing. So spread in... Uh, in IQ options are very good. Uh, one negative thing, uh, like for example, I am, I like to trade uh, LUSD for example. Uh, what you can see here now, uh, they are putting a block when things are not going too well for them. So let's say now I want to put a short here now. Let's uh, do a short. We put a sell, and you see this come up. That means they are blocking people to and I only see this on this pair by the way I can't buy or sell this pair right now because they have for a limited time they put a block so you can't because uh, uh, in IQ options they're using lost money to cover profit money on each pair so that means many have earned a lot profit on uh, USD, so now they are waiting to cover the cost till they open this pair again. So that's a boring part, I will say. So I am going to put some dollars into another broker only for when this type of things happen. It's very rare, but I did see it now right before the video. That's why I could show it right now. This is not happening often. This have happened for me. I used IQ options now for, uh, I will say, uh, for Forex, I think four months. Yeah, four months. I've used only IQ options. And this happened for me three times, I think. And then when I said three times, it's three days this has happened. And uh, it, this will not be all day, but that's a little boring because now, for example, I would like to put in a short. Because uh, it's a good point to go into the short, but I can't because of this. So that's one part I did not like. Then another thing that is amazing with IQ options is that you can put leverage automatically. If you use a broker, you need to ask them to change your leverage. But if you do so, you will find out that it's not so smart because you have a a lot size and the minimum lot size in uh, any broker is 0 0.01 right so let's say you have normally have a 500 leverage right that means it's 500 times your lot so but if you uh, if you change this lot size down to for example 100 you will find out that you're using to get your 0.01 lot that is the smallest. You'll then find out that 
the cost that the balance on your account will go down drastically for each uh, will be go down five times more each time you do a trade so it will get harder for you because if you have a small account you will not manage to do so many trades like you did when you had 500 it's because you still need to cover the 0 for 0 one lot size right that's number one and also number two is if you want to change in between that's difficult when you are in a broker because you need to ask them they need to change it but then will also change on your current pairs that you're running and that will only make it confusing for you when you're trading here you can basically do it automatically i can do one trade 50 and now i can do thousand if i want to it's everything is automatically and i don't pay extra i can do a one dollar trade at least little as one dollar sorry my chair one dollar trade that's much 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 less than a zero for zero one a lot so that's also amazing if you have a small account small account the best place to trade will be IQ options but not only small first bigger and bigger accounts also is amazing to use IQ options so all in all yes I use IQ options for trading but like I said can also be smart to have an extra broker for when for example this happening like uh, you see now, I did show you now in AirUSD that it's good to have one extra for these cases but otherwise I will say put most of your money into IQ options do the normal trading with IQ options then use another broker as an extra broker for these cases for example if you wanted to trade right now I can't because like I did show you this comp Let's see again now. Yeah, see, I can't trade this now. And that's annoying. So have an extra broker for these cases, but use IQ options as your main broker. So you find a link below this video to join IQ options. And it's very easy also to change in between demo account to real account. That's also something that is amazing. In the MetaTrader, you need to log in and change. Here, everything is automatically. So, uh, I will say once again, IQ Options is a better choice than any other broker. And that's my opinion. Of course, other people have their opinion. Maybe they don't think it's so professional to use IQ Options. Screw that. In the end, it's how you make money. You don't need to care about what other people think, what is looks cooler, looks cooler you use MetaTrader. Okay, good for you. But in the end, it's not about that, it's about how you earn money. And it's easier to earn money with IQ Option with, than any other broker. That's, that's just the way, it, the way it is. So, you find a link below the video for IQ Options. Have a perfect day.